Qatar have waited 12 years for this moment and must now deal with the pressure as the host nation. There's no hiding the fact most of us will have seen little, if any, of Qatar in the build-up to the tournament. But over the past few years, they have travelled the globe to give their players as much experience and preparation as possible for the most important three matches of their lives. Qatar have never appeared at the World Cup, yet have matches against Ecuador, Senegal and the Netherlands to make their mark on the game. Qatar will be led by Felix Sanchez, a Spanish coach who has been part of the Doha Aspire Academy since 2006. He worked his way through the age groups before settling as a senior boss in 2017 and while it was expected Qatar would look for a high profile name ahead of this tournament, he held on to his job. It looks a good decision as Sanchez knows this group of players inside out and he led them to success in the Asian Cup in 2019 with a win over Japan in the final. This is a man who learnt his trade at Barcelona but has adapted himself to understand the culture and expectations of Qatar. He's the perfect man for this moment. The style of play is more advanced than many football fans will expect from a nation that are making their bow. They are well structured and enjoy high pressing. A lot of friendly matches have been played in the build up to the tournament, but more than half the squad also play for the same club, Al Sadd. They are Qatar's leading club and the reigning champions of the Qatar Stars League. Formerly coached by Barcelona's Xavi, they've been taught a passing style that makes them a very well connected team. Their formation will flip between a 5-3-2 outer possession to a 3-5-2 in possession, and once on the front foot, they'll look to attack with pace. We should expect a few goals from this side. They were top scorers at the 2019 Asian Cup and the 2021 Gold Cup. Hassan al Haydos is the epitome of captain leader legend for Qatar. He wears the armband, he's made more appearances than anyone else, and he is extremely influential. He's likely to line up on the right side of midfield for Qatar, but he can also be expected to weigh in with some goals. You will notice Qatar work frantically to win the ball back in the centre of the field and his experience will be key to helping his side ensure they do not lose control of any game. When Qatar need a goal, they look for Al Moez Ali to deliver. He was top scorer at the 2019 Asia Cup and the 2021 Gold Cup and plays brilliantly off strike partner Akram Hafif. The pair have a great understanding and the creative nose of Afif helps Ali sniff out the chances that can help Qatar cause a shock. If the Maroon are going to make it out of their group, this man will need to deliver goals. Qatar have every faith in him doing that. Qatar are the hosts, so qualified automatically. They've been playing games all over the world to ensure they have a competitive edge for this tournament. They've even appeared at Copper America in their attempts to become relevant and recognised on a global level. Outside of that, they've been organising as many friendly matches as possible, even taking on club sides like Udinese, Antwerp and Mallorca. They even played Croatia's under-23 team at one point. The ultimate aim is to get out of their group, but small steps are needed, and the first realistic aim is to just win a match. A victory in this tournament will be a huge feat as they take this bold step into the World Cup. Their preparation is helped by the fact they've been playing regularly together of late, whilst other players from other competing nations were tied down to club commitments. The hosts are ready for action and hope they can catch everyone by surprise. If you fancy them to go the whole way and win the World Cup, you can get them at odds of 500 to 1. It's not something we'd recommend. Their opening match with Ecuador is a huge occasion though, which will bring an audience unlike anything this side have ever known. But they feel there is nothing to lose and everything to gain. This is a unique, special moment for Qatar.